Hey everyone, I got my Yes Oh Yes bag today. I am super stoked. This is for the month of October. It's been highly anticipated because there's an awesome palette in here. If you guys want to see what is in my bag for October, stay tuned. Hi guys, I'm glad that you decided to stick around for this video. Um, this is an unboxing for October's Yes Oh Yes bag. And um, if you're not familiar with Yes Oh Yes, they've been around for a little while, but they are actually getting way better and consistent. And they have made some promises that I have confirmed. So let me just explain. Yes Oh Yes is a $14.99 a month subscription. They have confirmed that they um, absolutely will include a full-size palette in every month and they don't do samples so I think it's like five products and they never give samples how can you beat that like come on I've gotten so many palettes from them already um every month is like I don't know it's a great way to build your collection of palettes so let me just dive right into this this month their theme is resting witch face totally cool on the back of their card is a list of the products and they always give the retail prices and then the total value of the bag. This month's total value I will get to at the end, but I will tell you the products as we go along and I'm saving the palette for last. So the first thing I pull out could have been a variation. It's a SK1 brush. This is a blending brush. They had like five different brushes we could have gotten. I absolutely love their brushes. And this retailed for 20 bucks, 20 bucks. They have great products though. You know, I like one of my favorite eyeliners is from them. And then I have a couple other ones that are my favorite, but I'm glad I got a blending brush. The next product I wasn't really excited about. I am, if I had to get nail polish, then I'd be glad to get this one. The only reason I'm not is because nail polish really isn't my thing. I go to the salon and I already have two. So, it's by NCLA. The color is gorgeous. It's one of my favorite. It's I've Been Drinking. This retails for $18. It's a gorgeous, to me it's a pink color. Um, it's really, really pretty. Um, but like I said, I have another one that I got from my glossy box a couple months ago. Like I said, though, a million times, I've said to my daughters, like if I was going to get any nail polish, I'm glad I got this one. So that's kind of cool. What's next? This next product, again, is probably something I was a little worried about, and I am really upset that I... I was worried because of the color. I'm always worried with lippies, and I'll see, like, the variations, and I'm like, please don't give me that color. Well, I got the color I didn't want. Um, this is a lipstick by Styx, and they have very unique packaging. The color is tangerine, though which I will not be wearing, so this will probably go in a giveaway. This is their packaging. It doesn't reflect off for you guys. On the side it says Stick Cosmetics. And then I believe you just, yep, tip it up. I'm not going to swatch this, but I know if you turn it. Okay. Oh, you go the other way. Yeah. That is definitely tangerine, you guys. Can't win them all, right? I am upset about the color because I've really been wanting to try any lippies from Styx. Um, I've been seeing them circulate with unboxings and stuff like that. So hopefully whoever gets this from me, you guys can tell me how great this lippy is because I really don't know the formula. It retails for $20, so seems like a more high-end um, lippy. The fourth product is by Mirabella. It's a visionary long wear eyeshadow. And this, it says it retails for $30. It is kind of big, but I've yet to get a one eyeshadow for $30. Um, this color I believe is called Imagine. This is their packaging. imagine yep 
Imagine long wearing eyeshadow in nine grams, and it looks like a loose powder in there. Want to stay fresh? Keep me on the jar. That's kind of cute. If you guys can see, it's like embossed into the thingy. I don't know if I want to open this because I might want to give it to one of you guys. All right, so I keep hitting my tripod. I'm sorry. It is a loose powder. I want to see what color this is, but I'm not sticking my finger in the... I'm just sweeping it off of the lid, so if I give it to you guys... It's really creamy. It almost felt like a liquid. And it looks like a highlighter. Oh, well. Don't know what I feel about it. it. Even the way it's laying in the pan, it's not like a loose powder. I think this is more like a cream. I might keep this for myself because I don't have any eyeshadows other than um, in powder form so this is um, kind of new for me maybe that's why it's 30 bucks has anybody tried this product um, this brand before it's Mirabella I've heard of them never tried them let me know if you guys have tried them now and what you think my dog is going like psycho right now and I'm at the latest product what I've been waiting for it's a palette a palette by IBY City Limits this palette is probably the third palette I've got from Yes or Yes by them. I'm so sorry, you guys. This isn't taped shut. I don't know why I can't get it open. So annoying. Hold on. I had a nice quiet afternoon until my dog started going psycho. Anyway, this is the City Limits palette. I like the, the way it feels. Ooh, pretty. Can you guys see? There's a little bit of a little bit of loose powder laying around. I want to do some swatches for you guys, and then I gotta get out of here because I have company, and my dog is going nuts. That is Drop Base, which is a shimmer. This is VIP, which is a matte. This is Headliner, another shimmer. Wow, these are freaking gorgeous. And they're perfect for the fall, in my opinion. Look at that. So, so nice. Did you guys get this palette this month? Do you guys get Yes, Oh, Yes? Lucky I love my dog. Um, finally got quiet in here. Sorry, guys. Um, I did another swatch of that blue. Look how pretty that... Ugh, they're gorgeous. Um, what do you guys think of this palette? It's super nice. I love their palettes. They're like nice weight, great pigments, easy to blend. This is really busky. Anyway, let me know what you guys think about the box, the palette, the unboxing, whatever. Don't forget to hit the comment, uh, the like button down below. Um, if you're new to my channel and you enjoy this unboxing and want to see more, don't forget to subscribe. I would love for you guys to join us. And um, I will talk to you guys again real soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.